know, I take out a sanitary napkin, I was like, that's the wrong meeting for me. Because <laughs> there was nothing cool about that. I didn't want to be involved. But what I want you all to see is, especially ladies, number one, how thin it is. That's the thing that really gathers our uh, women's attention immediately when they see how thin our products are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally simulate what we've been educated about from our medical advisory board. And what they've shared with us is that the average female, when they're on their cycle, they give off anywhere from 15 to 50 milliliters during between changes. Now we already know it can be more, it can be less, because some women are heavier than others. So what I'm going to do is simulate literally 50 milliliters going into this particular pad here. Now, as you guys can see, it's all gone. I poured every drop in here. This is a big part of the challenge that many of our females are facing globally. It's the fact that they're wet. So now when you're, when you're wet, you have this moisture, you have things like bacteria, your body is 98.7 degrees, it's leading to a lot of unnecessary physical challenges that can be avoided. If women were just able to stay dry or low. So immediately when they shared that with me, they got my attention because I was got a wife and I got three daughters. So for me, that was very, very important to be able to bring this information back to them. Because right here in the United States alone, uh, the U.S. does about 600,000 hysterectomies per year. The majority of them are African American. So obviously, it hit home even further. So now here's what I'm gonna do. You guys just saw me pour 50 milliliters on a pad. I'm gonna literally take this red napkin here, would you guys agree I'm applying some pressure? Oh, yes. I'm one thing is cheating, and I'm not pressing at all. This is what we came up with. And when I saw that, I was blown away. When I saw that the actual napkin was pretty much 99% dry, I said, we just changed the world for women. I knew that part. I was smart enough to pick up on that because I said to myself, if a woman has a choice to be comfortable and dry over being being, you know, moist and wet all day, she would choose to be dry. It's comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to take this cup of water, fill it up halfway. As you guys can see, I've already poured 50 milliliters onto the actual product here. So now I'm going to take our absorbency system that's inside of the product, right? And what I'm going to do is put it in a cup after pouring 50 milliliters. So I'm going to drop all of that in here. As y'all can see, I'm a pro in terms of doing this. I want you to see this. Now, here's the part I really want you to show and see. Ladies, this is important. Do you all notice how the top of our product, it has holes in it? I don't know if you're paying attention to that. That's very important, the fact that it has holes in it, okay? Right? But look, here's what I want you to see. The actual top of our absorbency system, it also has holes in it, okay? If you look at our bottom layer of our product, it also has microfiber holes in it. Now here's the question I want to share with everyone. Do anyone have any idea why those holes are there? Breathability. Breathability. If you look at the traditional sanitary napkins that's out there, if you look at them, it's closed in. So now it's like the bacteria, the heat, the moisture, the brunt of it is going back to the female's body. We have breathability, at least we have a way of escape. That's why it's designed every last part of it with holes in it. Now here's the question. We just poured 50 milliliters onto the pad. Am I correct? Yes. I took a cup of water that was halfway full and I put our resorption system in the water. The next question I want to ask you is, tell me what happened to the water. Absorb.
We've literally taken a liquid and we've turned it to a gel. Wow. And I want you to go a step further. If you just touch it and tap it, you're going to see it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have any idea why it's cool? Because we found out that when women are on their cycles, guess what? Your bodies is running hotter than oil. So now the product is also designed to cool you off in the process. So it's like a built-in air conditioner in terms of a woman being on their cycle. Now, before we close out, I told you we weren't gonna be long on this. We have a material that's infused into all of our jewel premium sanitary napkins that you see on the table. We have four variations of the product. We have panty liners, we have moderate flow, heavy flow, and super heavy. Graphene, for you guys that don't know, is a Nobel Prize winning material. The gentleman that discovered graphene in 2004, they won the Nobel Prize in 2010. So now we have went as far as taking a material like that and infusing it into our sanitary napkins. Now you may ask why. We've discovered that graphene uh, helps with dismantle real, painful abdominal cramps. Graphene helps with uh, bacteria. It is a 99.9% .9 bacterial killer. So literally bacteria and graphene can't coexist. Graphene, it helps with your immune system, ladies. It helps with your metabolism. It helps with fatigue. It helps with the pH balance in the body. All of these benefits, but more than anything, graphene contains what's called vibrational energy. It's always alive, always. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this vibrational energy for you guys because I want you to be able to see it. This right here is a strip, right? These strips are infused into all of our jewel sanitary I want you to feel it. Did anything happen? Anybody get shot? Nobody? Mm -hmm. We don't have to call the hospital? Nobody, nobody's hurt, right? Mm -hmm. I'm asking that for a reason. So I'm going to put this here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 7 watt light bulb. This is a very low wattage light bulb. Anywhere this light bulb senses energy, it would illuminate. So this is not like a, 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 a 40 watt or 60 watt that you're accustomed to in your home. And obviously with me being on a flight, this thing has gotten beaten up real bad. So I'm gonna just put the top on it real quick. So what I want you to understand is anywhere energy is sensed, you know, if you're running place, rub your hands together, you can illuminate this light bulb with your hands, right? But anywhere it identifies energy, it would illuminate. So what I'm gonna do is take our graphene strip here, take the light bulb, and we're going to see wow. if we get any energy anywhere. This is what I want you to see, guys. What's so amazing. Now, here's what you can't ask me now. You can't ask me, will it shock me? You have already texted it. So I set you up when you texted it. And you said nothing was wrong with you. Because immediately when people see this light bulb illuminate, they automatically assume that it has something to do with electricity. Electricity is not the only source of energy, okay? For example, you can get energy from a windmill. I don't know if any of you guys familiar with that. Mm -hmm. You can get energy from a dam by the river, right? You can also get energy from solar, solar energy. So electricity is not the only component. Guys, you also get energy from graphene. So it is the new material that is literally taking over the world as everybody intrigued about it, what it's doing, and we're excited to be offering it to the world in our female sanitary products. So on that note, I would love to uh, bring up Ms. Kiana Crook, who's also our uh, COO. She's the Chief Operations Officer of the company. Uh, does a phenomenal job. Guys, this packaging, everything that you see is designed by her in terms of formulating the new product. We have a new line coming out, which is gonna be a white packaging. Arlene, you're gonna love it. It's now gonna be our panty liners with weeds. Oh, let me <laughs> 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 I forgot I was introduced.
Go ahead, um, Ms. Carter. So I love the fact uh, that I get to watch him do the presentation. I don't get a chance to see that that often. And um, he is a person of evidence, so he's going to always you know, just give you a lot of information and everything. But I'd like to say for us as women, back in the day, we didn't have an option of a healthier option. And we just have a healthier option for our product. Um, we did uh, come out with a new model. It's going to be liners with wings, which will also have a level of absorbency, not as high as an actual pad. But it, it, um, it gives a longer length of a, of a panty liner, so it's really offered a lot of older women who wanted something just to hold on a little bit tighter, um, which will have a level of absorbency in it as well. And so it's, it doesn't take much to fall in love with this because it's just healthy. It will allow a woman to feel right. Beautiful, yes. <laughs> Back to you, Mr. Clark. All right, so on that note, I told you, you don't have to be alone to be strong. So do you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, anything you need to know, want to know uh, before we move on? Yes, what is, a, what is, what is, a, is graphene an alloy? Or is no, it, graphene is, is a carbon-based material. Okay. Okay, it's from carbon. Okay. That's where it's at. Actually, um, NASA is currently doing, right now, studies with graphene on the International Space Station. Because remember, uh, you breathe in oxygen, but you breathe out what? Carbon dioxide. So what they're doing is now, they're literally on the space station doing experiments to get graphene from the breaths of the astronauts. Mm. Extracting it from the carbon that they're breathing out. So there's all type of things. They're, they're looking at ways of getting graphene from the environment. It is bananas what they're doing with it. And right now, they're calling it the new material of the world. It's supposed to revolution like plastic did. It's supposed to revolutionize the world. And right now, where graphene is at, it's like knowing about the internet before it became the internet. Mm. That's where we are currently. And there's pretty much not anyone since I've been going, I've been to Trinidad doing these presentations all over the United States. There's pretty much not anyone that I've ran into, doctors included, that knew what graphene was. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Has, oh, what is that? Never heard of it. Always, 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 you know, you're educating someone because it's new to them. Anything else? Questions? Comments? Well, I know that our bodies are carbon based anyway, yep. that originally, and uh, mm -hmm. we don't know that about ourselves, so it just kind of um, goes with the balance to us. That's right. what I looked at it when I was looking at what graphene was, but we're carbon based bodies, they're carbon based, so it's a balance. Right. Uh, and I, I was telling people, like, I only imagine that the graphene, the way it's, it's like that arrow that goes up and down, like it's going in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's giving energy, giving energy, giving energy. And it's giving you that balance. And when I heard that it did, it helped our metabolism and the pH and everything. So I was like, okay, so that's kind of what that's doing. So that was what I, how I tried to describe it to my clients or people that I was trying to um, explain what it may help them with and their bodies just like that. Well, you're right on point because um, they, were, they were sharing, and even if you're reading those books, it talks about how graphene is in the proteins and fats and everything that's in your body. Mm -hmm. It's already there with the carbon and everything, so it is a natural source that's coming from you as well. That's why, like I said, these guys won the Nobel Prize for it because they blew the world away that they took this natural material and it's showing all these attributes. And graphene, uh, any uh, uh, layer of graphite, it's, it's a, it's a spin-off from graphite. But when an atom is 10 layers thick or less, it's considered graphene. 10 layers or more is considered graphite. So it's actually a, 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 a spin-off of graphite, of what graphene is. And I've learned all these things because I go to the graphene summits, uh, just visited one in Washington, D.C. Actually, I'm going to one in about three weeks in Jackson, Mississippi. So I go and I learn and be educated, network with people that's in the world of graphene. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Ford, people don't know that graphene is in the new Ford Mustangs. They were at the meeting in Washington, D.C. The Department of Defense uh, is using graphene. Uh, IBM is patenting everything that they can. Graphene, Samsung is coming out with a new graphene charger. So there won't be any more plugs or anything. You'll literally sit your phone on a graphene charger and it will charge your phone. So all of this stuff is being done right now, right in front of us. Anything else? 
Anybody else? Questions, concerns, comments, anything? Yeah. Queen only? You're the host? I mean, <laughs> anything? Diamond Consultant, one of only 25 in the entire company. We thank her so much for being here from the beginning, leading the way, being here with us. We definitely appreciate that. Anything thank you would like you. to share?